So sometimes I wish YouTube was was two ways. Like I could I could see you too. I would probably be disgusted and tell you to put on pants. But also, I'd ask you to raise your hand if you're excited for the Galaxy S8, and I'd wager a lot of hands would go up. Even iPhone loyalists are kind of curious, I think, what Samsung is going to announce. We've been covering the S8 for, I don't know, it seems like six months to three years uh, about everything that it's going to be and things that we thought it was going to be. But now we have a complete picture, including release date, announcement date, and even Techno Buffalo was the official site that debuted the leaked spec sheet for the S8, which is almost identical to the S8 Plus, which we're gonna talk about. So to summarize all of our TV news videos we've been doing, let me tell you everything there is to know about the Galaxy S8. So first, when are we gonna hear about it officially? So Samsung really teased the date they're going to announce the S8 at Mobile World Congress, and it is March 29th, so that's official. The rumored release date though for the phone is later on in April on the 21st. So let's talk about let's talk about some specs. Uh, when I mentioned the specs for the S8, they're identical for the S8 Plus, except for one big difference, screen size. The S8 is 5.8 inches, uh, and the S8 Plus will be 6.2, but same technology, same screen resolution, both Quad HD Plus, uh, and of course, Samsung's really awesome Super AMOLED panels. It's gonna be interesting to see how they do that. They should all have the curved display we've seen with the Edge. It also looks like they're gonna go the same direction that LG started uh, with the G6 with that. Uh, an 18 by nine or two to one aspect ratio, but that is yet to be seen. Optics are obviously gonna be improved here on the S8, and Samsung I think has had some of the best camera modules going. It's not gonna be an exception with the S8. It's gonna be a 12 megapixel dual pixel sensor on the back and an eight megapixel sensor on the front for selfies. Power of the guy is gonna be a Snapdragon 835 in probably most markets. If you're lucky enough to get those Samsung's homebrewed Exynos 8895, that will be in there as well in a lot of the Asian markets. Uh, of course, they're gonna have the iris scanner built in that we saw with the now defunct Note 7. IP68 is going to be on board, wireless charging. It will have USB-C, so all the stuff that we loved about the Note 7 will be here on the Note 8. 64 gigs of storage is going to be standard, which would be nice to have, and of course, that's expandable. And four gigs of RAM, I think, is the one area that a lot of people might sort of knock it for. Uh, we heard rumors that the RAM was gonna be as high as even eight, but that looks to not be the case with these line of phones, but not that's gonna affect things or not, we've kind of yet to be seen. Four should be plenty, uh, but perhaps the more RAM is being saved for the Note 8 coming out later on in the year. So in addition to knowing the specs, we've also seen the phone pretty much leak out. Uh, our friend Evleaks leaked what looks to be a press image. The folks at BGR showed images of the phone on. It looks incredibly thin and close to bezel-less, not only on the sides, but the top and bottom. Uh, so don't know really where the fingerprint sensor is going to be. We've heard rumors that it's the screen itself, and maybe it's gonna be just on the back. So I don't know. What we did see though was an extra button for Samsung's own UI, Bigsby. But of course, things like Google Assistant should be on board. Uh, and it should launch with Android 7.0 Nougat uh, there as well. So that should be quite nice. Perhaps maybe they'll find a way uh, to get 7.1 on there. One big question mark though with the S8 things we don't know is going to be battery life. But you can wager that it's going to be safe. Samsung now has their eight point battery test to make sure that phone and that battery are going to be completely safe and no issues uh, at all. I wager it's gonna come in though probably between 32 and 3400 milliamp hours. And our comment of the day comes from our top security tech video. It comes from Techno State, who says, I normally don't pay much attention to security, but that lock got me locked up. It was a, a lock you can control that's TSA approved. Check out that video if you want to see it. We'll link it up here. And of course, if you want to check out Techno State, link to his channel down below. If you want to be the comment of the day, just leave a comment and we'll feature you. And then you can get more subscribers and life can be awesome for you. Thank you guys for watching. Give the video a thumbs up. We certainly appreciate it. Until next time, John Ranger from Techno Bubble.